The Chamber of Industry and Commerce Tobago Division believes it is time for the procurement process for a new cargo vessel to be completed. Chairman of the Tobago Division of the Chamber, Curtis Williams, said his team will hold the government accountable with regards to their promises. They are calling for a meeting with the Minister of Transport next week in Tobago. We also want to ask upon the Minister of Works and his technical team, including the NITCO um, board, for an urgent meeting so that they can meet with us, the, the Tobago um, Chamber of Commerce Division, and as well as other stakeholders. We ask upon them to, to accept our request for an urgent meeting to discuss the sea bridge issues going forward, the future, and what plans we can put in place knowing that there ought to be some new vessel that they hope to ac acquire sometime next year. So we want to be part of that discussion as we, as we move forward. Vice Chairman of the Chamber's Tobago Division, Demi John Cruikshank, explained the MV Emprendedora arrived just after midnight on a Wednesday at maximum weight and left Tobago at 6.30 a.m. with no major issues reported. However, he stressed the Chamber's Tobago Division is holding the port accountable to their timeline regarding the Cabo Stars repairs. Hold the port to their word that the vessel is going to be finished by the 17th, which was indicated by the Chairman, Mr. Lyle Alexander. And we are going forward that that vessel should be back in service by no later than the 18th of uh, September. We have a number of holidays and number of activities coming up. And if those activities clash with shortage of goods and foodstuff in, on the island, we will have problems because we don't want our guests coming to Tobago and having problems to get simple things like water.